We knew this day would come. I'm the one who brought him. I'll return him to where he belongs. The original Jungle Book was something I grew up with. And so as we developed how to turn it into a live action film, we had to ask, how do we give the audience the biggest, best experience they could have? The goal here is for people to not know what's real and what's not real. Where the set ends and where the CG begins. But that requires a tremendous amount of care. Every single shot requires hundreds of people. I feel confident that we're at that threshold, that with the proper planning, we can achieve naturalism. And for me, that's exciting. Because we had decided to use this completely virtual environment approach, we figured it's an opportunity to take the best of the animation process and the best of motion capture and the best of live action. You combine those things. You can do something that nobody's done before. You could just walk, we'll add everything else, and I was like, but how? That's not possible, but they made it possible. This is a virtual production workflow. We're trying to leverage the latest technologies that are available to us in lighting, rendering, and interactivity to enable a new set of tools to visualize shots that they would see on a live action set. What makes us able to make this movie now is the technology to have photo real animal animation. Will you look at that? Camera set, add, action. Every single shot requires hundreds of people and a tremendous amount of collaboration. A lot of it is research. You just do a ton of research. That is your basis of reality. And the research is good because it sparks ideas and different ways of looking at it. And you get to kind of live it and walk through it. It's pretty much starting with the backbone or the basis of real life. The way it moves and looks and scrunches its face and the way it reacts to light, the only fantastical thing is that they actually speak. What do you think they're talking about? This idea of blending old and new technology and then to see how they sew it all together. For me, it's magic. The goal here is for people to not know what's real and what's not real. There's a lot of people, a lot of artists working on this film. There's a lot of technicians. Everybody's been very generous in sharing their techniques and their experiences. It's really been remarkable. Films have to be an emotional experience for the audience. You have to tell a good story. I wanted to hold that standard. If I'm engaged emotionally with the characters, all the spectacle was worth it. offices that we were using were right down the block from the IMAX headquarters. What was great is we could go over to IMAX in their beautiful screening rooms and see what the film was like as we were finishing up. Especially in a film like Jungle Book where you're immersed in a jungle environment that's completely digitally created and these animals are digitally created. 
you feel like you're being drawn into this experience. And of course, the sound quality, the image size, it's very immersive. You're seeing a digital image projected the size of a wall, and you lose track of the edges of the frame, and you feel like you're just in that environment. Poor sweet little cub. Trust in me. Talk to me about your process and what how music factors into you your performance as an actor. So anytime I was down, like the slightest bit, just out of energy, they would play this one song, Uptown Funk. That always just made me all jumpy and happy. You would dance on the set in your Mowgli costume. Mm -hmm. And you're a very good dancer, by the way. Thank you. Trust. We want to do a version of Trust In Me, mm -hmm. the song. Oh yeah, at the end of the credits. It's at I the see end that. of the credits, Scarlett sings it. The person I wanted to produce that was Mark Ronson, uh -huh. who's a great, you know, great yeah. music producer. I had the editor cut together clips of you dancing to that song, and I oh, actually wow. showed it to him. He says, oh my God. Yeah. And then he agreed to do the song oh, for the great. movie. And so at the end of the movie, we have that great version of Trust In Me. Yeah. And I want you to know that that version of the song, I don't think maybe it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't yeah. turned everybody on to that music and, <laughs> and played it all the time on the set. Look for the necessity. Bill Murray singing with you on Jimmy Kimmel when you sang Bare Necessities yeah. together. Forget about your worries and your strife. That was so fun. How did so it all happen? He was just like, oh, but yeah, by the way, we may sing. He walked <laughs> away into his dressing room. I was like, what? Relax, kid. You don't need to get worked up, okay? And then um, they called us up into this room to just, like, just see what we're going to do. Uh -huh. And um, he was like, yeah, I don't know, but if this doesn't work, I'm blaming you. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's a song about the good life.